Hi, it's me again. And just a quick one, this, because on my morning travels around the internet every day, I stumbled across this article and it made a fair point. I'm sure many of us know the point that it's going to make, but there might be a few people who are new to this fight that might find this interesting. So just a quickie, let's fly through this and we'll have a chat about it, shall we? Channel 4's funding model versus the BBC licence fee. So just in case you didn't know, Channel 4 is also a public service broadcaster like the BBC. It was decided by the government, it was in the 80s, wasn't it, that a new TV channel was required, and so they formed Channel 4. And Channel 4 has certain rules and regulations around it, and it is a commercial channel. So it's still similar to the BBC, except for it pays its own wages. So let's crack on. Hang on. Channel 4 receives no public funding despite being a publicly owned, not-for-profit corporation with no shareholders. It is funded entirely by its own commercial activities and most of its income comes from advertising revenue. Channel 4 doesn't make any programmes in-house and instead commissions them from UK production companies. Any profits go back into programme making which allows it to fund less lucrative programmes, including the news and current affairs. So it's interesting to me, Channel 4. I mean, I'm not a fan of public service broadcasters. They're just propaganda networks, aren't they, basically? It's no different than being in North Korea. But Channel 4 is interesting. I don't mind some Channel 4 stuff. I won't go watching the news on there or anything. But I find it interesting that they're not allowed to make any of their own stuff. They have to employ production companies, UK production companies, and pay them. And then they put the shows on, sell adverts during it, and any profit goes back in to doing more public service stuff like news and current affairs. It's not a bad idea, is it? Now, there's talk about Channel 4 being sold and everything. But I think Channel 4 is how a public service broadcaster should be. You know, BBC has BBC Studios and all these other commercial wings that make it all very confusing indeed. Channel 4 is Channel 4. It buys in its shows, doesn't make any itself. Isn't that the way it should be? The money that it gains goes back in to the UK industry, the TV production industry, and the shows get on there. And then because of that, you get some stuff you would never normally see and some smaller productions and they take a risk. And I like that. I think Channel 4 is everything a public service broadcaster should be if we all agree that public service broadcasting is a good thing, which I'm sure many of us don't. But Channel 4 is the way it should be. The show ads, why can't the BBC do that? Why can't they do that? Let's read on. By contrast, the BBC is funded principally by an annual television licence fee which is charged to all households, companies and organisations using any type of equipment to receive or record live television and iPlayer catch-up. The licence fee, which is oh, it's a bit outdated, isn't it? Because it's 159 a year. Well, this, this only came up to me the other day. November 21, yeah. Get your stuff together, City AM. You got your numbers wrong. The licence fee is currently £159 a year and is supplemented by income from the activities of the three commercial subsidiaries, BBC Studios, BBC Global News and BBC Studio Works, which shouldn't exist. They also have many other commercial subsidiaries. Well, no, not subsidiaries, completely different companies like BBC America, UK TV in the UK, if you didn't know it, Dave Golden, all that. 100% owned by BBC Studios and uh, it's commercial. It Show shows that you paid for with your TV licence yonks ago and shows adverts on them, makes a profit. So it's odd that we've got two public service broadcasters in the UK. One of them where they send people to your house to demand money with menaces and one that just gets on with it and contributes to the UK economy in a positive manner and earns its own money and pays for itself. Why can't the BBC be like that? Channel 4 does a fair job and it's, it's slim and it's trim and it looks after its money. The BBC gets handed over 3 billion quid a year from TV licence fees. Wasteful. Everybody knows how wasteful the BBC is. You don't need me to tell you that. Because they're getting more money every year from you. They can't be responsible with money. They need to earn their own money. The BBC needs to go commercial immediately. They can do it. They show adverts in America. They show adverts on BBC Global News. They show adverts on UK TV. They can do it. They just don't want to do it because then they'll have to trim the fat and actually start earning their money, wouldn't they? So I just thought that was an interesting quick little video for some of you who may not know about Channel 4 and the way it's funded. I know many of you did, but I still find it interesting just to sit and have a chat about it 
occasionally anyway. Let me know what you think about it, if you think the BBC needs to go commercial immediately, and let me know what you think about, about Channel 4 as well in the comments below. We'll have a chat about it as always. I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.